Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the 900, my Battletech Flashpoint series. So today we're going to take on a one and a half skull mission, but before we get into that, I want to check a couple things out. I'm going to go to the engineering section here, and we're going to go to go ship upgrades. So now we've got a little bit of cash floating around. We're going to add some structure, structural repair here. It's only 90,000. We're going to purchase that. We're going to need to get all this done eventually, but I think if we can just kind of, you know, plot along every couple of episodes or so and add something new, that would be great. We're going to go to the barracks and have a look at our mech warriors. I've been pondering the thought of running a second lance. I'm not sure if that's going to be possible or not just this early, but it's there's a potential to get a second one up and running. Because we're running all light mechs right now, it might be useful to do that. Pulling off missions quicker and then being able to move off planet. Um, so... We're going to have a look at our pilots again. I'm going to look through the skills and decide what we're going to do here. So I'm thinking um, for our main pilot, we're going to continue along the gunnery route, um, get better chance to hit. Uh, with yeah, Owl, um, right now, she's just kind of slowly working her way up. So we're going to leave the experience. Uh, actually, we're going to go here and get plus one health. Rhea took a head hit. I want to get more health so our pilots can get back faster, plus have less chance of dying during a fight. Uh, yep. Red Flag is the new pilot we picked up, but we're going to add a bit of guts to her. Confirm that. Uh, Rhea is still out for two more days. And Shiv is back in action again, which is great. So we're going to add... Actually, we're going to wait, because I think we want to get um, get her gunnering up. Pretty sure that's the route we want to go with her, because she is going to be a close-range fighter, where we're going to have um, uh, Possum and Owl, uh, most, most likely our long-range fighters. Um, and Rhea, once again, is probably going to be a long-range fighter. Um, she's got sensor. Actually, you know what? She probably won't be. She's going to be a close-in fighter, I think. So, I think maybe Shib, we're going to go with long-range. Hmm. It's, uh, it's, it's tough for me to decide what I want to do with these pods right now. Um. See, multi-target is kind of useful. But when you're fighting against all mechs with four evasion, I know you can strip evasion off other mechs, but if you're really focus firing someone down, being able to target a second target is really useless, especially if they've, they've got full evasion. I don't know. I'm not convinced that this is the best route to go. You know, even like being able to fire fire move and then move and fire, uh, sorry, move and then fire and then fire and then move might be a better option because you're going to get two shots per the enemy's one. Whereas here, you're going to be targeting two enemies but you're going to be in the line of fire of the enemies at the same time for two turns. I don't know. This is, I think, far more useful against like bigger, slower moving targets. But I don't. I, I'm not. I don't know. I'm still not convinced that everybody needs to have higher, like high gunnery, um, major skills. I, I don't know. I'll have to figure this out. So let's go to the command center. Um, actually, yeah. So our mechs have come back. So let's go to the command center. Uh, we did some outfitting last time. We've outfitted uh, one of our guys as a second uh, long-range uh, boat, and we've upgraded the Vindicator slightly. But it's a little more damage now. It's all pinpoint. So we're going to have a Panther and, a, and the Vindicator in close, and the other two mechs back a little farther, farther firing from distance. So we're going to try for something. So these are all battles, right? Clean out the Mercs is in the Badlands, uh, Lowlands. Not much to say. Shoot to kill. Last mech standing, I think we'll do first. 2 of 10 salvage, 3 of 14. Yeah, let's do 2 of 10 salvage first. Last mech standing. There could be more than one lance, but I'm not 100% sure. So we're going to go 2 of 8 salvage. Going to keep the cash. Uh, local pirate organization is not going to be happy about this, but there's not much we can do. We haven't been finding a lot of missions that aren't the planetary government, unfortunately. So unless we move into Capellan Capella space, there's not real much we can do. So, let's accept this. And Panther, why do we have an asterisk on the Panther? What's up with the Panther here? It's, oh, you know what I forgot to do? I realized something. Uh, let's go to let's go to Bayes. I think I forgot to drop an LRM ammo. I bet you that's exactly what I did. And that's exactly what I did. I forgot to include LRM ammo. Right. So that's one day. Let's confirm this. 
Ah, we gotta sacrifice a day. So if we're gonna do that, we're gonna sacrifice two days and get Rhea back in action. Thank you. Come on, there we go. All right, so let's get Rhea back in action and let's go back to the command center. Yeah, I overlooked that. All right, let's negotiate. And we're gonna go two of eight. Pirates are not gonna like us, but too bad. Let's get let's get Rhea back in and we're gonna change Owl and Rhea around. Now this is the one that's got LRM-10. This has got an LRM-10 and this is our close range boat. So Rhea's gonna be close range um, and 900 for Jesus is going to be close range, and these two guys will be long range. So let's deploy these, and oh wait, we want to get Shiv back in too. I wonder if we should put her back in the Panther. Just to get her experience up a little more, I think. Because she's from the mainlands, so let's do that. Alright, here we go. Ah, yes. There they are. Wow, three commandos and a locust, which leads me to believe, most likely, they have a second lance coming from this direction. So, we are going to do what I like to do, and that's move up on this side. No need to tell me twice. Let's get out of these trees so we can get moving here. That main lance is just going to sit there. It's waiting for its reinforcements to arrive. Position confirmed. And if we get lucky here, the, most of those guys will be dead by the time the reinforcements get here. That is, if there is any. It doesn't seem like the, it's pausing enough for there to be reinforcements. So I'm actually kind of liking this now because all of my, my mechs are moving about the same speed. Or like some kind of super space ball team. Yep. Thanks for that. Thank you for that. Affirmative. Good to go. We know they're there. They know they're there. What they don't know is that we know they're there. Alright, here they come. We're just going to reserve. Let them move first and then we're going to move up and give one of them a Stand pasting. By. Now, that one and a half skulls too, these guys could all have completely full armor. Up until now, we've in one and, and, and half skull missions, we've been facing mechs with very low armor. Okay, so let's go... Hmm. Can we, actually, we can see somebody from here. The other thing too, now that I think about it, I want to try something a little different. Let's get this guy sensor locked. And then let's give him a pasting from back here. Let's do that. Okay, so what do we got going on here? Wow. Yeah. See, I like these larges. I think that was the right choice. I think the right choice was to put these uh, longer range weapons on. So I think doing things this way is just going to make these guys' life, th their lives just hell. See if we can finish them up now with 900 foot. Just need to step up. I'm going to move into the trees here. It'll give these guys something to shoot at. We're going to fire straight on this guy. Okay, so that's it for this guy. Ow. <laughs> Look at the pieces all over the place. Oh, man. That pilot's definitely dead, not incapacitated. Alright, we're going to reserve, man. Come on, you gotta come up here and fight us. You wanna fight? You gotta you gotta close, otherwise we're just gonna kill you from range. Wow. <laughs> you ch you're chickens. Oh my god, they're so chicken. Let's just keep choosing this side. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh, these guys don't have any armor either. This better not be it. Um, we need a direct line of sight here. Let's just walk over here. I know we're in the open, but... Jesus, these guys are just like going to be like, what happened? What hit us? Didn't we have a lance there a few seconds ago? All weapons are go. You can stay guarded all you want. If you don't have any armor, there's no point in standing there. Alright, we want to walk forward a little bit. We're going to be able to see everybody now. They were going to move out next turn anyway, so... There goes the now he's a walking stick. I think he's got an SRM4 left. Oh yeah. Inspired melee attack. Ooh, 35. It's pretty good for a light mech. He's he's got nothing left. Uh okay, Rhea. You've done your job. Time to move forward. Let's give some of these guys a pasting here. Let's finish up this commando. Actually, no, let's not. Let's fire on the guys that haven't moved yet. What's the Locust like? He's got, like, nothing. Let's fire on him. So let's see who you're going to fire against. Yep. That's far that's fine. I offer myself up as sacrificial lamb. Although I gotta say these two Panthers still have like fully loaded out armor, pretty much, on the front. So it's not like I'm worried if they get hit either, but I know he had damage reduction on him, but I needed to get rid of him. Should have run when you had the chance. This is just painful for them. I don't even think they have reinforcements. Moving to position. Wow. I got a bow tie on my back. I didn't even notice that. Alright. Gonna move over here. Fire on this guy. Gonna catch him in a crossfire now. Oh, we got enough to take his leg off? Not quite. It's gonna melee. Of course. 35 damage. Thanks for coming out, buddy. Alright, Rhea. Moving to position. Uh, he's sacrificing himself. And there it is, folks. Well, that was just sad. But, on a good note, that gives us a chance to play a second mission today. Wasn't expecting to do that. I thought this was going to be a tougher than mission than what it was. Let's take the large laser. Uh, let's take the LRM-5 because it's worth more and see what kind of... Oh, I think we get everything. Pretty much. We missed one Commando piece. We've got another Commando 1B. Got a Locust M. Oh boy. That ready to fight. Yep. That Thank you. Yeah, I know we got experience. But we're going to pull off another mission first. So, um, I wish that was a better example of, like, what a one and a half skull mission would be, like, tough, like, difficulty wise. Let's do clean out the mercs next. Battle in the Badlands. Could be more of these people than they're letting, leading on to believe. Uh, it doesn't say that, but there's that possibility. So let's negotiate this one. Um, I don't know. Let's just go to, well, I can't, see the thing is like, I can't, I don't know, let's just go this route. I can't buy mech parts, so I don't know. All right, here we are back at it. 
Hmm. Now, it certainly could. So this is different. I think it's... Yeah, it's one of the same maps that they used before, which you start off over here. The mercenaries are over here, and the reinforcements come from that direction. So it's... I don't think I've actually played this map before. Is there a way up here? I think we can get up this way. Well, let's go check out what they've got in store for us. Got it. Aye, aye. Let's hustle, people. Right, Commander. Got it. Moving. All right, there's our first contact. And it is a medium max, so let's reserve. Waiting for my opening. So, since let's reserve again. Holding for tactical advantage. Another medium mech. All right, cicada. It's the PPC cicada. Damage minimal. Fifty damage is not minimal. I don't know why they keep saying that. So he's the long range guy. So let's let's play this a little differently than I normally would. Why does this say, does this mean we're in the water? Why are these It looks like it's water, so maybe that is water. I'm gonna move her back here. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna sensor lock this guy. Strip two chevrons of evasion off him. And we're going to play the long range what can game. I, do for you? Um, I don't really want to close with the medium mix. So let's move back here. I read you, Commander. Moving out. And let's unload on this guy. Not bad chances to hit. Affirmative. Be even better with the next guy. And then Shiv. Let's move over here. Oh, I thought that was a direct line of sight. Damn. That's a mistake that's going to cost me. He's got no evasion now. How much armor does this guy got? Not a whole lot. So, uh, let's move in. To here. Get some evasion up and moving. And we're going to fire straight on this guy. Great chances to hit. And since he's a medium mech, we all get to have fun and fire at him again. Good to go. All right, Shiv first. Let's get into the trees. Gonna unload on this guy. On it. Okay, and then let's get Possum. Awesome Possum. I want to put you. I think. My, are we in large laser range here still? We are. I'm gonna move back. I'm gonna unload on this guy. Got it. This guy is not having a good day. I like them apples. When I shoot you, you'll take it and like it. Oh, he's gonna take it, but I don't think he's gonna like it. Let's get Rhea up closer. Can we jump in closer than that? No, we can. It's the same. Hoping to get him into optimal range, but still I'll take these chances to hit. There goes the right torso, which is where he has his PPC and the CT, and he's done. He's just taking a bit of a dirt nap. Alright, a Vindicator. That's alright. Alright, I want to reserve because I want to see what this other guy is. I think we're probably only facing the three mechs. He's not going to get to within visual range. Oh, there is another one back there. Okay, so we're going to take this guy on the right first. He definitely has to go first. So I want to save my heat. I'm going to back up over here. And do I want to do a precision strike on this guy? 
So he's kind of got full armor. Eh, not really full armor, but pretty close. His arms are full, I think. His torsos are only 80. They could be 110, I think. Head's full. CT's not full. Um, so he's the standard loadout. His PPC's in this arm. So let's... I'm going to try Precision Strike on the arm. And fire. Why? Why? Do you hit the other side? I don't even understand how... That's twice in a row now where I've targeted one side and I've hit the absolute opposite side with everything. I don't even... Uh, whatever. Whatever. Alright. We're light so we get to go first. Let's fire on this guy. Time to die. Try and strip some of this evasion off him. Commander. Let's just stay back here. On the move. Firing with everything. Okay, Rhea. Uh, let's get you... That's a pretty darn good chance to hit. Let's jump into here. I don't like him using using more heat than anything, but let's fire on this guy. I think I might try and target that leg if I've got enough... Uh, I don't think i got enough resolve left. Oh, boy. That is a very unhappy sight. Well, at least he's going to be overheating. Yeah, thanks for that. I, I think I know that. I think I know that. I'm sad now. Uh, that's the leg. It's the left leg. It's a pretty darn good chances to hit. Let's move over to here. Let's fire against this guy. Let's hopefully we cl hope we claim something here. Let's get the leg. Hopefully, now let's shoot the opposite arm from the one that we want to destroy. But that you know, sure. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. He's not having a good day though. We got to kill that disco back fast. Where are you going? Okay, you want to make it so we can burrow through through your side. We're good with that. So we need to keep... Hunchbacks are slow. So we need to keep... Um, what can I do for you? need to keep Possum and Shiv uh -huh. back here out of the way. I'm going to fire on this guy. Uh -huh. I'm going to use you guys as evasion strippers. Orders. On my way. And I think we may have to just stop with the LRMs on this guy next time. Because I think I'm going to have to save these for the hunchback. So Rhea, let's get you over here. On the move. I don't want the disco back shooting at you. Let's fire everything on this guy. Torso, leg. Some heavy damage. He's going down! He's going down! Now, I wonder how tough these pilots are. I want the hunchback to get close because I need to get behind him. Here he comes. Yep. He should be overheating. Structure's exposed now. Warning. Armor breached. Thank you. Uh, I know. That's the leg too. I down to 40. Ooh, that's not good. That's the left leg, so let's try and turn as much right side we can to these guys. Yeah. How much CT does this guy got left? 16. Gonna go for a CT shot. We gotta get rid of him. Just with the two mediums. We should be able to kill him. There we go. Okay, two mediums down. I gotta pull that disco back down into the valley and get these guys behind him. 
don't know what that guy is. How can you... Oh, too large. He's probably a crab. You can see us because the hunchback can see us. Um... Gonna reserve. See where you're going. You're barely. Oh, you're not taking the bait. Not taking the bait. Okay, that was bad. Yeah, it was. You're moving. Don't worry. Waiting for orders. You're moving first, Mr. Possum. Let's go back here. I think we're probably out of his visual range now. Uh, let's unload on this guy. We gotta lose that shoulder. So, I do have enough for an offensive strike. Hmm. Okay, so this this is kind of the fun I've been looking for. If there was a second Lance here, we'd be definitely be in trouble. Let's get you over here. Just go back. Roger. That was a CT hit, I think. Okay, he's a little bit unstable. He's got no chevrons left. Look at those medium lasers. He's almost overheated too, which is good. But he's got a ton of armor still. So, um... Let's do this. Do we push him? Let's push him. Let's try for this. I don't even know why I bother sometimes. Oh, we got a head hit though. So if we can take a torso and knock him down, there's a good chance we can kill him. Um, this is water. I'm gonna try this. Um, we want to precision strike this guy. It is technically water. It, I'm standing in a puddle of water. I'm gonna fire everything. Okay, so now Ready for orders. we gotta keep moving. Uh, got to keep moving back, but we can't. Let's turn one side. Confirmed. Firing on this guy. If we got lucky, we should be able to take the hunchback down this turn. He's unsteady. Um, possum, let's stay in the trees, please. Your left torso is damaged, so let's try and turn more to the right side. And let's fire straight on this guy. Okay. He is not having a good day. Okay, Rhea. As much as I want to jump, I want to preserve my heat more than anything. Let's move into here. Let's give that crab a target to shoot for. And look at this guy. He's drunk. Let's just... Uh, how much has he got left here? 48. Uh, do I want you to precision strike him or do I want... Um, let's just fire everything. See if we can knock him on his butt. Not enough to torso him. Oh. Morning. Weapon system yep. Destroyed. Yep. Slowly turning me into a stick here. Good shot, buddy. Good shot. Do this. 
and then do this. I think I wanted Vigilance first. More than anything. And let's fire. Another heat sink destroyed. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Not enough to knock him down though. See if he tries to run. Okay. Okay, okay. All right. We want to get working on that crab. I got to turn my left side to this guy. So this. Moving out. And let's get on this guy. Going to fire the three medium lasers. How much do you got left here? Seven. But he's in the trees. Is he not? No, he's not. So I'm thinking the SRM-4 is probably better if we connect with one of the four of them on that shoulder. Is that enough? Okay. Torso destroyed, so he's taken two. Still unstable. Alright, Shiv, let's go and move in and stick a Shiv in this guy. I'm going to have our right side mostly turn to him. Let's finish him up, please. Okay. Three down, one to go. Okay, definitely more difficult than Rogue Tech at this at this stage. Uh, only because... So we want to make sure our left side's turned away from him. Because um, of the limited amount of weapons you can carry on the lighter mechs. Okay, one head hit already. Nice. Uh, I don't know. It's such a hard choice. Let's do this. Okay, a little bit of a connection. He's coming into play. Oh no. Yep. Short range missiles depleted. Comes the knockdown. Warning. Detecting mech warrior injury. Yeah. Okay, we gotta push this guy now. Uh he's taking a head hit. Let's go with Possum. I'm going to move into the water here. I'm going to keep the right side turned to him. And we're going to do a precision strike on this guy's head. Fire everything. And we're going to move Shiv up. I need my... Well, let's just keep it wide here. I think that I think he's precision striking. At least it seems that way. Let's go after the head again. Firing a full salvo. Okay, Torso he's taking an injury. Scored a critical hit. Orders. I'm wondering. Hmm. I'd love to try for a precision strike on this guy's head again. If I jump though... I want to try and get so that I... Ah, oh, I don't know. Uh, let's just melee him. Let's hope for a good hit and a knockdown. 
Okay. Stand up. He's definitely going to attack the Vindicator. If it was me, I definitely would. Do I move to a position where he can't shoot me? Keep my left side to him. Let's do that. Let's try and save the mech more than anything. He's only got one large laser left, so it's not so bad. But those precision large laser strikes were really nasty. Okay. Uh, he's got one Chevron of evasion. Shiv, let's step you back here. And just going to fire straight on him. Roger that. I want to come on this side now and try and get this leg, but on that one. I don't know if we can get the leg on him. I don't have anything for a precision strike, though. Commander? No, you got to keep this side turned to him. Yeah, we didn't get any evasion. Let's just fire. Critical hit, Commander. Hmm. Yes, Commander. Lifting off. Let's try it. Let's hope for let's hope for a leg hit. Chances are we're gonna CT this guy. Yep. Dang. Okay, well, two missions today. Mission. One super easy and one not so super easy. I'm really hoping that, uh, I mean, we're only going to get one crab part in the loot table, I get that. And then we'll be able to select that. Since it is one of the new mechs, we're allowing ourselves to select those. Um, yeah, we lost a large and a medium, but that's not a big deal because jump jets, SRM, we got all that stuff in stock. And nothing else. We didn't lose anything else. So, let's choose uh, the crab part. And let's take a large. Ooh, PPC we can take for cash. Nothing else. Um, let's take this for cash. And see what we get. Ah, cicada part. Oh well. So now we got two parts of a crab. Yeah, we're gonna need some mech repairs. I know that. Gaining experience. Okay. Well, let's fix our mechs before we end this episode, and then uh, we'll be ready for the last mission on this planet. So let's put these guys into storage for now. All right. We gotta refit this guy. So, I'm thinking that the loadout was good. I'm not liking the fact that there was the SRM4 in there. Um, so, we're going to pull that for this one. And let's get it to how we were going to do it before. So, we're going to move the small. Since we got to fix it anyway, let's do this. Um, and then we needed a heat sink and a jump jet. Uh, jump first, heat sink. Oops. Um, we had two tons remaining. I think there was just heat sinks that we were adding, right? If I remember correctly. 54 to 60, that seems right. Alright, well, let's confirm that. 17 days. So that's not going to work. So let's go to, um... Actually, it might. Let's go, um... Engineering still working. 17 days... I'm out for 18. There's no missions here that we can take that are going to be capable for three mechs. So I'm thinking we leave this planet. Let's go to um, star map here. And what is close by here? That's that's Panzer 17 days, half skull. We don't really want a half skull, we want one skull if we can find it. Three and a half is not good enough. 
Um, hmm, Weldries 2. 17 days to Mechter. That's 3 skull. 20 days. 2.5. Two, 2. There's nothing really close by here that's like reasonable. So this is kind of like pirate space, I guess. Travel contract. It's 24 days, though. Yeah, I think we need to get out of... Um, need to get out of the space here. This is, like, this is perfect for the travel, but... So there's Pirates here and Arana Restoration. So let's head there then. Um, yeah, we got, I mean, we got 17 days of repair anyway. So let's travel. Let's just do it. Once again, kudos to the cool animations that they've added. Yep, so a little bit disappointed. That last mission. Yeah, they, it looks like they've added a lot of animations. That's nice. I think they took... Um, there's plenty of uh, people in the community that were saying that these are this uh, transfer was boring. So I think they tried to spice it up a little bit. I still love the jump. I think it's fantastic. Um... The fact that they've added new animations to this to uh, help spice it up a little bit. Okay, structural repair done in one day. Those you asked for are Thank you. So we're going to go to, sorry, engineering. And we're going to purchase the refit harness for 20, 2700 Sorry, 270000 not 2700 It's 20 days, but um, it gives us plus two more tech points. Let's get that going. I'm sure we can get a lot of cash on this next planet. Plus there's stuff we, that we have in the bay right now that we can just sell if we had to. Still got lots of cash. Thank you. Yipper. 265,000. Let's have a look at the store, see if there's anything interesting. Lots of Lots of parts. AC2, medium lasers, a whole lot of nothing. Okay, full locust. Not that we need it. Uh, let's go to selling and sell some stuff here. Um, what do we not need? Machine guns, small lasers, like, well, let's just leave it for now. All right, so we're going to end the episode here. Uh, actually, sorry, one more day. Need to get uh, 900 for Jesus we're back for the... Yeah, thanks for that, Darius. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, we can't... Um, Oregon Pirates. Ooh, could have been a member, member of these guys. Damn. Have to pull off some pirate missions, I guess. Yeah, not much we can do for that. All right, so we're going to end the, end the episode with you here. If you like it, drop a like. If you feel free to subscribe. Have a look at my Rogue Tech um, Cold Forge series with the uh, link up here in the corner. And until next time, I'll see you all later.